Hi, welcome to Strictly Salina. I'm your host, Carol Bell, filling in for Ann Knowles. Strictly Salina is a program that we do that highlights nonprofit organizations in our area. If you would like to be highlighted on our show, please give us a call at 785-823-2500. That's 823-2500. Today we have with us two ladies from OCCK, Shanna Sowers with Workforce Solutions and Susan Sprague with Alzheimer's. So welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you Carol. So Shanna, tell me a little bit about the Workforce Solutions and the Employment Expo. Okay. Um, we are the organizers of Salinas Largest Employment Expo. Um, in fact, this October will be our 29th annual, so they've been doing it a very long time. Um, we have booths that are set up at Central Mall, and employers can rent a booth space, and then we serve job seekers from not only Saline County, but other counties that want to come in and um, apply with different uh, businesses that are there. There's a lot of different manufacturers that attend and um, organizations, nursing, um, factories, anything that you would be interested in. Okay, very good. Um, so what, um, you serve individuals that are on the Ticket to Work program. Can you tell me a little bit about yes. that? Yes. So uh, some individuals are re receiving Social Security Disability or SSI payments and there's an income cap that they have, and so if they would like to work themselves off of Social Security payments, then they can contact our agency, and we can assist them with um, getting employment that takes them off of that, or substantial gainful activity, they call it, and um, assist them with the follow-through process to see if they're able to work a job, because some individuals either want to go to work full-time or they don't know if they can work at all because they haven't worked for a long time. So we just work with them through that process and then the goal is to get them off of those payments and become fully employed and without any type of assistance. That's fantastic. I did not know that there was a program to help people do that, so that's, that's great to know. Yeah. Um, what about the rehab contract? Okay, one of our agreements that we have yeah. with um, the state of Kansas is the vocational rehabilitation contract. And so um, anyone with a IEP in school, so a learning disability of any sort, can qualify. Um, you can qualify even if you have a diagnosis of diabetes. And what you do is you meet with a vocational rehab counselor and then they will assess your needs and when you're ready or they deem that you're ready to um, become employed, they will um, assign you to or ask you to sign up with an agency and OCCK is an agency in the area and we can work with the individual to help them find employment and we also provide job coaching services for those that need job coaching. Um, so when you help the individuals, do you help them like create resumes and like learn how to interview if they haven't done that for a while? Yes. In fact, we help a lot of individuals that call into our agency. Um, someone in, uh, help with cover letters and resumes, um, interview skills, what to wear in an interview, what questions the employers ask. They want to practice those. Um, for a lot of people, it's updating the resume they already have or that someone had helped them with in, in the past. And so we work with individuals to get them ready to go out and get a job. That's awesome. Very awesome. And then the TANF contract. Okay. So exactly what does that mean? Okay, the Temporary Assistance to Needy Families. Okay. Um, and, and that's another agreement that we have. And in our type of agreement that we have, they have to have a dependent child. So. Um, the, in order to have to qualify to come to OCCK for services, they have to have a dependent child be referred from Department of Children and Families, and that's through the Economic and Employment Services Division of DCF. And we work with them to assist them with gaining employment. So we have different types of services that we offer. Um, we're also a twofold agency. We not only work for the individuals that we serve, we work for the employers in the community. So employers will call us and say, hey, I have two or three openings. Do you have anyone that you can send me? So we work real closely with employers. They know that when they hire an individual that is working with our agency, they can pick up the phone and call us and say, this person might be struggling with handling cash and counting money back to someone. And so we can step in, one of my employment consultants can step in and assist them with teaching them a skill. And that way it's not taking time away from the owner of the business or the employer, and they can count on the employment consultants to help them. And they know that we're just a phone call away. 
Very good. So Workforce Solutions, do you know how long it's been? I believe that Workforce Solutions has been at OCCK for approximately 10 to 11 years now. Um, we're very fortunate to have that in our community. I don't yes. know that people know that that's available. So very good. Yeah. Very good. So Susan, let's go to you and let's yes. talk a little bit about Alzheimer's. Do you remember anything about it? <laughs> Just kidding. I do. <laughs> good. So um, what does OCCK offer to individuals with, dis with um, Alzheimer's or somebody that they might work with with Alzheimer's? Sure. Um, OCCK has a grant. We have an award grant through KU Alzheimer's Disease Center. It's called RDAD for short. It means, it means reducing disability in Alzheimer's disease. And really what that means is that um, it kind of has two parts to it. It supports caregivers. Okay. Uh, so this might be a spouse caregiver, could be an adult child caregiver, um, it can even be a formal or paid caregiver. Um, and the supports for the caregiver really take a look at what may be distressing mm -hmm. um, as the disease progresses and it provides support to, that, to the caregiver. Okay. Um, in, in the form of face-to-face -face home visits. So we're, wherever they are most comfortable, and usually that's at home, right. um, that's where we go. Okay. And then the second piece to it is an exercise mobility piece for the individual with Alzheimer's. And when I say Alzheimer's, it can be a related dementia as well. Okay. Um, sometimes folks just say dementia. Um, and then the exercise mobility c component of, of this grant, and I do need to also say that the grant was, is through a federal dollars, um, the Administration on Community Living. Okay. It's all about folks staying in their community. That's awesome. Um, it is awesome, yeah. right? So the mobility exercise piece is for the individual with dementia, and um, it, is, it is modified exercises that actually people really enjoy. Some people don't like that word, but um, they work on strengthening and balance. And if you're familiar with the process, the progression of the disease, balance can kind of become an issue. So um, that's the two, and that also is, you know, very, very, it's in the home, it's very comfortable mm -hmm. for the people. Yeah, that's neat. I like that um, because a lot of times people have to go to a facility and they, like, their whole world is just turned upside yes. down. So that's very good. Yes. Um, so you talked a little bit about the KU grant. Is there anything else that you want to say about that for the Alzheimer's program? Well, we're just very, th you know, we're thankful. Mm -hmm. um, KU Alzheimer's Disease Center, KU Med, uh, you know, what a great thing yeah. to have. And so I was, OCCK was very happy that those grant dollars could come to n rural Kansas, yeah. north central Kansas. Yeah. So how many, like is it just for Saline County or do you guys service other counties as well? Service other counties. Mm -hmm. And how um, many counties do you have? OCCK serves a core nine counties and we also expand a bit to serve kind of 15 okay. um, counties and we go, we go all the way to, you know, the Nebraska mm -hmm. border and it's definitely just the heart. Heartland yeah, of Kansas. Yeah, that's great. So um, you, were t you talked a little bit earlier off camera about the outreach program. Um, do you, about partnering with KU. Oh, sure. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. So K KU, you know, they just know a lot about dementia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they have, um, they have educational programs that can be offered. And again, OCCK really wanted to bring those opportunities to Salina and mm -hmm. the surrounding communities. And so KU has partnered with us to bring those educational opportunities to Salina. Okay, all right. Um, so <clears throat> if I wanted to find out more about these programs, what would I do? Like if I have a loved one who had Alzheimer's, what, sure. what would be my first step? Uh, call us CCK. Okay. Um, and ask for, just say Alzheimer's, say dementia, or ask for Susan, okay. ask for me. And um, if you, you know, leave your phone number, email, or if I'm there, I'll just talk to you right then. Okay. Um, that's probably the easiest way. Okay, perfect. And do you guys have a website? 
We do. Our website is OCCK.com. Very easy. Mm -hmm. Very easy. And all of the divisions of OCCK are listed on there, and it's pretty easy to maneuver, but they can also also call the main number, okay. which is 827-9383. Very good. Well, Shanna and Susan, thank you guys so much for being here today. I learned so much. Thank you.